before Georgia gets her attitude adjustment. when two bullies want to rule the same schoolyard. We'll learn tonight as the violators meet bad attitude. Hello again, everyone. With David Sams, this is Chuck Underwood from the Super Roller Dome, where also tonight, brother will meet brother. It's going to be an all-out war, Chuck. The bottom line is it's Mr. Mean versus the Monster Man. Simply put, the violators' Mr. Mean is fed up with his brother for one reason. Because last week, when he pushed him into the alligator pit, he was ticked off. And now we're going to see a rematch, Chuck. As Bad Attitude comes through the tunnel and out into the arena. These are the skaters who prepare for games by scraping their fingernails down the locker room blackboard. And they are managed by the absolute iron maiden of this sport, Ms. Georgia Haas. The most disgusting, the absolute most ridiculous woman in this sport. <laughs> Proud graduate of the Sean Penn School of Charm. She, of course, is the one that has caused so much controversy throughout this season on this league. But more about that in just a minute. But first, let's go down to Shelly Jamison. We're probably going to see a lot of flash and dash tonight. That's because the Hall of Fame All-Star Game is coming up in just two weeks. Scouts for that game are in the audience tonight looking for players. So expect those skaters to take it to the wall. Now, let's say hello to the Violators. Well, the other five teams in the league consider these people the tarantulas of the trap. They are led by Mr. Bean and Sweet Stephanie. This tribe sticks together and defends their own. Probably the meanest team in the league. They are led by their cranium commander, Shaw. <laughs> Bullwhip, cigar, tattoos, earring. Wouldn't every mother want this man to teach her child the value of sport? He's the former bodyguard of Ms. Georgia Haas, and I believe that's where he learned all of his bad ways. Well, as the Violators take their pregame march around the track, we'll let David update you on what's happening off the track. Chuck, I just can't believe it. Just one week ago, we told the public that they could decide the future careers of Ralphie and the Twins when the league could not come to a decision after Georgia Haas tried to split up the Twins and tried to do Ralphie's career in. So we told America that they could vote for a 900 number. I would have never believed that me and Georgia Haas would be getting so many votes. It's unbelievable. It could be devastating to the T-Birds. We'll fill you in on the details later in the game. Stay with us. Back to the matter at hand, tonight's game, which will match up the Brothers Jackson. On your left, Monster Man Bernie, and on your right, Mr. Mean Harold Jackson. Remember the rules of this sport. Four skaters for each team on the track at any one time. Only the ones wearing the helmets can do the scoring. They're called the Jetters. The others are called the Guards. Referee Paul Gallego starts oh. this first cycle, and right away, it's a brawl. There go the Jetters as all six guard members of both teams are down. Up to the wall of death goes number six, Charlie Saunders. A bad attitude behind oh. him, Mr. Means. And both Jetters are given six points on the wall of death. Oh. And both get the full six on the jet jump. Chuck, I don't know why you even bother giving us the rules because these two teams don't know how to follow them in the first place. <laughs> there is Mr. Mean. The idea, once they come off that jet jump, is to pass opposing players just like that. There's a single point for Mr. Mean and his violators. He passes Ninja Pete Christensen, who gets rail for a second point. Now he's working on his own brother. Can uh -oh. he get around him? Uh-oh, here's the nope. rematch. Bernie Jackson, number one. Nose we go. to nose with here we go. Brother Harold, Mr. Mean, and here's where it was set up a week ago. This was it one week ago when Mr. Mean tried to push Ralphie Valadares into the pit, and all of a sudden his brother came in and showed him who was the real boss in the family. Seldom does brother turn on brother, but as best we can tell, the monster man was angry at Brother Harold, Mr. Mean, 
because all night long he had been trying to help his brother in his many arguments and the monster man didn't want to be upstage saying I can take care of myself thank you it was a humiliating move in that first scoring cycle lots of points the violators lead 15 to 12 remember six minute periods and within each period these skaters will try to squeeze as many 45 second scoring cycles as possible you're watching roller games from the Super Roller Dome, the great indoors, the full retractable roof. Chuck was built at a cost of $500 million and has become the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> no hype there. Shifty Bob Sandejas is the lead jetter and coming off the wall, he cuts down Dr. Fu in those shark's teeth pants of bad attitude. And Dr. Fu pays him back by dumping him. And now Dr. Fu will move and try to pass his opponents back on the main concourse. Veteran skater coming up now on rear blockers, Mr. Mean. And Monster oh. Man drop kicks his own there brother. Again. So there's a single point for Dr. Fu in bad attitude. He's now going to grab the coattail for the Monster Man, who is clearing away the violators. Oh. And time runs out in the cycle, and it's been oh, a good wow. one for bad attitude. Now let's take a look at the later starting lineup led by Mr. Mean, the Mean Machine, the freight train of pain. And I'll tell you, oh, there he is again. This one is going to be tonight an absolutely devastating game. I have my crystal ball out, and what I see is nothing, nothing but pain out there for these two. Violators lead bad attitude, 17 to 15. Mr. Mean grabs the Black Jetter's helmet for the Violators, and Charlie Saunders of Bad Attitude is in the red helmet. Charlie, remember, is a world champion Whoa, speed water skier. Nice move up on the wall of death. Mr. Mean gets six points on the Whoa. wall. He gets six on the jump. Charlie <laughs> Saunders bails out. Oh, come on. Mr. Mean swept by the pile and got three quick points, and the cycle stops with him chest to chest once again with his big brother. Let's get back to the game. Let's get back to the game. You're eating away time. Now, here's a look at the bad attitude starting lineup. If you want to read it, that's your business. But I refuse to talk about it. It's disgusting. It's also a lineup of very good skaters. Oh, come on. That's, that's your own opinion. To the infield goes Charlie Saunders after he went under the rail nose first. He's a bit wobbly, number six there, so he'll get a breather. Meanwhile, in this next 45-second cycle, the Jetters are going to be the enforcer, Tony Trujillo, number two, heading up behind the monster man, Bernie Jackson. Despite his 225 pounds, the monster gets two points on the wall of death. Both he and the enforcer get two over the jump, and once again, the Jackson two are going at it. Mr. Mean stomping the track in fury. Here comes the enforcer, trying to get around rear blocker, Bam. Dr. Fu. That's a legal leg kick, by the way. Leg blocking oh. is permissible. Ah! Oh. A rescue from Mr. Mean. That clears it up from the enforcer. Time running out in the cycle. Can he get around some more of those green Ooh. pants? Yes, there's two more. And the Monster Man is now going to ride him oh. off the track with a headlock as the cycle ends. Uh-oh. The enforcer is down, and the fans are taunting him. Oh, come on. Like, Mr. Mean knows the rules. Seems as though Mr. Mean only has one thing on his mind tonight, and that is, of course, revenge against his brother, the Monster Man. Violators lead bad attitude by six. Time left for perhaps one more 45-second cycle before the ladies step up for the second period. Remember, the women also skate the third, and the men return to close it in the fourth. Mr. Mean will jet for bad attitude, and that is Dr. Fu, who is being tied up back on the main concourse. He's not going to get to the jetway. Meanwhile, two points for Mr. Mean on the wall of death two over the jet jump. And Dr. Fu oh, is nowhere whoa. to be found. Down goes Mr. Oh. Mean, decked by his own brother. But meanwhile, Bad Attitude doesn't have a jetter. Bam. This is going to be a no-point cycle for Bad Attitude. Coming up during the next quarter, we're going to give you an update on your voting. The vote that will decide the destiny of Ralphie and the twins of the T-Birds. Stay with us. That's the next quarter. Mr. Mead sweeps by for three final points. Oh, Dazes his brother, who finds shelter off the track. 
That'll be the end of the first period. Oh, come on! And Mr. Mean scored an unanswered eight points and gives his team now a 14-point cushion. Well, he's living up to his name right here. Doesn't he know the clock has run out? Well, it never runs out on this sort of activity. That is Ninja Pete Christensen beneath Mr. Mean with the skull saying, get him, get him. Have you ever noticed the skull doesn't do anything but shout orders? <laughs> Between occasional cracks of the bullwhip. Well, oh, there are the brothers. Oh, they're getting real close to that pit. There goes Mr. Mean trying to push the monster man, his very own brother, into that devastating pit. Deja vu. This is precisely where they were seven days ago. I cannot believe what we're witnessing right here. This is absolutely embarrassing. This is as bad as hockey. <laughs> Take that, National Hockey League. Now they're throwing things at Mr. Mean. Monster Man, meanwhile, looks a bit bored by it all. I don't know why we're giving these two so much camera time, Chuck. This is bad for the sport. Their big feud began last week when each of these brothers, the Monster Man and Mr. Mean, wanted that big opportunity to finally melt down the icebox to do in his deep freeze. But in that incident, the icebox was dramatically injured. Now let's go down to Shelly with an update. Shelly? I'm here with Icebox of the Thunderbirds. Icebox off the shoulder. That's all right now. Um, all I can do is just try to strengthen it up for the next game, you know, next week. And um, Are you going to be able to skate next week? Yes, definitely. You know, Oh, just working out some problems yes, you know, the arm. Um, what about well, your bad move, the deep freeze? Oh, I'll be back with the deep freeze. And don't oh, forget, I'm going to vote for the twins, and you vote too. Vote, 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 vote. we got to get those twins and Ralphie back together on the T-Birds. We'll see what happens next week. Back to you, Chuck and Dave. End of the period. Violators lead bad attitude by 14, and the Jackson brothers will now surrender center stage to Sweet Stephanie. And later today, the music of Young MC. Call your favorite rock radio station now and tell them to play rock and roller games. New Alka-Seltzer Advanced Formula presents the Roller Games Power Play of the Week. Earlier this season at the Super Roller Dome, America's team, the Teavers, met the bad boys of bad attitude. As the action heats up, both Dr. Boo and Speedy Gonzalez wipe out on the wall of death. But that's nothing compared to the surprise in store from the Monster Man. In the poking and gouging and Speedy Gonzalez coming up oh, on the Monster it's Man. It's a subway play from the fast thinking Speedy Gonzalez. He's a crowd favorite. Now watch it again in super slow roller motion. Speedy slides to victory with a mid-air collision from Dr. Fu and the Monster Man. Now this. Power Play is brought to you by new Alka-Seltzer Advanced Formula. Remember, war is a three-letter word. We're in the second period here in the Super Roller Dome. The men of bad attitude pow-wowing while the ladies are up. And in this first 45-second scoring cycle with the Violators leading bad attitude by 14, the Jetters will be the flea, Paula Wilson, in the black helmet for the Violators. Whoa. She's out of Omaha, Nebraska. Behind her, the Latin Spitfire, Patsy Delgado, who's in her 13th year of skating. Neither woman gets any points on the wall. They both get to coming off the jet jump, and now they will approach the rear blockers who are so important in this game. It is the job of the rear blockers to prevent the Jetters from passing opposing players and scoring points. Sweet Stephanie in that wild red hair goes down as the bopper bops her. That opens it up for the Latin Spitfire who gets around all three Violator opponents, gets those three points, and stops the cycle. Now here's how you score on the wall of death. Above that top line, it's six points if you take three big strides. Below it, it's two points. And of course, on the jump, same thing. Six points over that big 12-foot marker and two points behind it. But remember, you have to land safely to get the points. Now Stephanie is taking on all comers now. Two on one, that's the bopper. And now tangling hair to hair with the Latin Spitfire as Mike Garth perhaps smartly backs in. Oh, that's Stephanie. She's really a sea devil. The bopper is back. Garth, who probably has the most beat-up eyeglasses in all the galaxy, is lecturing sweet Stephanie. The Violator Vixen right there. 
And tonight, she's taking on Patsy Delgado. I actually, I can't figure out which one has a bigger mouth. Hellion, Tornado, Calamity Jane, all rolled into one. You notice that the Flea Paula Wilson's black uniform is covered with white as you watch the two managers argue. I said get out before I slap your Oh, oh, I mean it. Georgia Haas versus Stone. Oh, she did a chuck. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> she's in bad trouble this time. She went over the edge. She knows no fear, and she is watching oh. her rear did tenor, she get it? Did Hot she Rod get the Christopher. Thing? Nope, she only oh. got two, so did Sweet Stephanie. Unbelievable. Sweet Stephanie, whoop. Does it appear that Hot Rod is headed for deep bam, water? Bam, yep. bam, bam, she's dead. Sweet Stephanie moves on, meanwhile. Excellent skater coming up now on the tank. Marnie Smith. Oh, oh, oh. Down goes the tank. Now it's the Latin Spitfire. She clobbers and moves out of the way for another point. Stephanie's on a war path now. Past Sadie Crestman for a third point with less than five seconds left. She stops the cycle. And the Violators lead by 15 points. Uh-oh. Don't use your hands. Let's go. Stick. Close to a penalty there. Paul Gallegos, the referees say, don't use your hands. We want to tell all of you parents, do not buy the Sweet Stephanie doll. It could be devastating <laughs> to your children. Sweet Stephanie leads the Violators, who are now going to jet with nasty Nancy Wilkinson. Meanwhile, Bad Attitude is going to go with the brat Lyle Morse, whose grandfather, true story, produced Ronald Reagan's first movie. It was entitled Smashing the Money Ring. Oh, and the brat gets two on the wall, as does Nasty Nancy. Each gets two coming over the jet jump. Nasty Nancy has lost her helmet. And she has also lost her balance. The Brat will try to get around the woman they call Sidecar. Nasty Nancy finds that the track is too high where she tried to oh, reenter. Oh, oh. So she had to escape to a lower portion. That is wasting valuable time for the Violators as the Brat scores well with less than five seconds left in this scoring cycle. It ends with the Brat celebrating. There's one of the baddest fades in the Rolling Stone right there, Lyle Morse. She's number two on your screen. But then again, I don't want to talk about this team. Get them off there, Chet. Get them off there. Thank you. 60 to 47 oh, is the score. It's Georgia Haas once again disrupting game play. Remember, there's only six minutes in each quarter. Every time this nonsense happens, all it does is run down the clock. Get her out of there. That was the flea she was mauling. We mentioned earlier the, the white powder on the uniforms. That's that's plaster of Paris that they sprinkle on the track so the skates will grip. I don't understand how she gets away with that kind of nonsense with these referees. <laughs> She's a veteran and knows where that invisible line is. In dealing with the referee, sweet Stephanie, oh, in trouble. She'll not even make the jetway. The whip was a bit strong. She's now going to back That's illegal. Meanwhile, the Latin Spitfire, who got none on the wall, gets two on the jump. And you're right, you're not allowed to go the wrong way on this one-way track, which Sweet Stephanie just did. Big break for Bad Attitude. Perhaps they can close that 15-point spread. There's the Spitfire. Can she get around the fast-skating Sweet Stephanie before the cycle uh -oh. ends? Five seconds, four, three. Sweet Stephanie down for the count. Bad attitude at halftime trails only by 11. Coming up, Wally George has that big boat update that we've been promising you. Stay with us. And later, Young MC rocks the Super Roller stage and the Jackson Brothers continue their feud. Sports Central. Well, 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 this certainly has been a big week. We've received an unprecedented amount of phone calls. We've blown out our switchboard receiving calls from all across the USA. Remember, folks, you are the jury. You can decide whether or not Ralphie will make it into the Hall of Fame without hanging up his skates and whether the T-Bird twins can skate together forever. 
without being separated by the unholy three. Commissioner, how do you see the voting thus far? Well, Lee, I do not think it would be proper of me to uh, express an opinion as to the voting at this particular time. Just let me agree with you that the voting has been intense. And, uh, yes, Georgia, Guru and Skull have a, a, a lot of friends, but then so do Ralphie and, and the twins. I would just like to say that the voting will end in 48 hours and the results will be given right here on television next week. I hope that answers your question, Wally. Certainly does, Commissioner. Thank you very much. Ralphie is standing by with his arch rival, Ms. Georgia Haas. And tell me, do you two have any last-minute plugs to give before the nation decides your fate? Well, first of all, I'm going to let this Valadere speak up first. I'd like to hear what you have to say. I'd just like to say that if you believe, vote yes, please. That's all you got to say? I'll tell you, my millions of fans out there will be sure that the vote goes no. You're with me, fans. Okay, okay, enough is enough. We got the message, okay. Now let's go back to the Super Roller Dome. Get ready to cast your vote. In two minutes, we'll tell you how. Come back with us, and we'll tell you how you can vote on whether Ralphie and the Twins have returned to the birds for good. Read all about your favorite skaters in Roller Games magazine. This is the War Network. As the ladies prepare for the third period, Bad Attitude needs 11 points to tie the Violators. Stand by. We'll tell you how you can vote in just a minute. The Violators are going to jet the flea, Paula Wilson, and Bad Attitude will go with Memphis, Tennessee's The Bopper, Gail oh. Bell. And the bopper gets bopped. There goes the flea. She gets no points on the wall, but she gets two on the jump and decks uh -huh, the bopper again. Uh -huh, the bopper uh -huh. can't seem to get even on the track. Now to get some individual points. One, two, three quick ones as she passes three opponents. And she'll try to get more. Can she get around the bopper who is 0 for 2 with the flea? Yes. Oh. The bopper's now Ooh. 0 for 3. Mm -mm. The flea stops the cycle quickly, and it was a good one for her team. And uh -oh. up comes Cat the bopper. Fight. Cat fight. Number three is the bopper. And pointing the finger is oh. the flea. And down she goes. Oh, she really decked her. There goes Georgia. Seventy-four to fifty-two, violators with a nice lead at the moment, but it can be quickly erased. Get ready to pick up that phone. Soon you'll be able to vote as to whether or not Ralphie and the twins may permanently return to the T-Bird. New Jetters and their longtime rivals. First up, sweet oh. Stephanie behind her, the Latin Spitfire. Bam. Oh, and Stephanie clings atop the rail. Down she goes like a kid on a slide. And you're uh -oh. looking at a first. This uh -oh. is the first fight we've ever had in the jetway between jetters. And you know what that means? They're fighting on the wall of death, and it could be devastating. <laughs> well, the 45-second cycle clock continues, and it's being counted down. Both jetters have completely forgotten about scoring points. There will be no points scored in this cycle, just a couple seconds left. And I believe that referee Paul Gallegos has ordered Sweet Stephanie into the penalty pod. Well, yeah, that gives Flat us our down. answer. Now yeah, they're not oh. done yet. There's the Spitfire dumping Whoa. Sweet Stephanie. Oh, and she's going to follow her over the rail. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And continue the pounding. I've never seen so much hair pulling <laughs> in my life. Girls will be girls? Back up. Both of you sit down. Both of you sit down. One cycle. Let's yep. go. Sitting down. Stand those up. are the ugly words Stand the skaters up. hate to hear. Look that, at that dude. That Stand means up. to the two penalty pods, which flank us here in the broadcast the position. Box. Get over there now. Penalty box. Move. So it remains 74 to 52. Not a point score there. There goes Stephanie. She's heading for her pod to the right of us. And the Latin Spitfire will go to the left. Meanwhile, Where does she belong? Back we go. The lead jetter there is Nasty Nancy Wilkinson, and behind her, Hot Rod Margaret Christopher, who got three steps above the six-point line on the wall. Nancy only got two, and they both get bam, two on bam, the jet bam. jump. Down goes Hot Rod. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nancy gets around the bopper. There's a single point. 
She shoves away Sadie Cressman and gets still another. And now another and stops the cycle. And the Violators now enjoy a 17-point lead. And the penalized skaters may now leave the pod and return to action. Okay, here's your big chance, the chance to vote. Whether Ralphie and the Twins should be allowed to return to the T-Birds for good. That's the question. If you'd like to vote, call 1-900-226-9000. You see that number on your screen right now. This costs $1 per call, so make sure that you ask your parents first, unless, of course, you're old enough not to get in trouble. You cannot vote if you're in Alaska and Canada. Don't ask me why. I don't make the rules. I just read the paper. That's 1-900-226-9000. Should Ralphie and the Twins return to the T-Birds for good? Sweet Stephanie up the wall of death and down the wall of death. No points for her. Meanwhile, Patsy Delgado gets to... Stephanie, oh. Stephanie goes down, and so she'll get no points on this pass through the jetway. Patsy got a total of four. Now for the single points. She passes one and two, and now three black jerseys, and so gets three points. Now to try to get around Sweet Stephanie, one of the fastest skaters in the league. Coming up, five seconds oh. left, and Stephanie is out of control again. Coming. I saw it coming, Chuck. I just knew that was going to happen. Deja vu. That's precisely the point on the track where Sweet Stephanie hit the deck just a couple cycles ago. Boy, I tell you, look at that hair. She's indomitable, but at some point, enough is enough. Let's take another look at Sweet Stephanie paying the piper. This is where you really pay your dues in this game. Look at her. Take that rail. Unbelievable. That was a devastating fall. End of the third period. Violators lead by nine. Here's Shelly. Chuck and David, I'm with Bernie and Harold Jackson. Loving Brothers just last week, and now you're feuding. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You talk to me. Well, Don't me talk to happened. him. Look, Mr. when we grew up, Mama always said, if we were on different teams, we go out and do the best we can to win. But you're fighting against but each other. Listen, Mama, don't worry about it. I'll take care of him, and I won't hurt him too bad. I get no <laughs> respect from him. He just don't know. I'm the big brother here. I taught him everything he knows. Now look at him. I said, you didn't teach me nothing to you know. You know you didn't teach me nothing. Don't you worry about it. You know they love each other. Deep down, there's true brotherly love there. Chuck and David, back to you. Well, Georgia is leering, the cheerleaders are cheering, and the crowd is cheering. Final period coming up. If it's not war, you're simply not having fun. I've hit one cameraman, I can hit another one, and I've kicked those butts many times. So <laughs> Georgia Haas hosing down our cameraman with vinegar as we begin the fourth and final period of play. The Violators lead bad attitude, 82 to 73. Jetting for the Violators will be Shifty Bob Sende Haas and the Monster Man for bad attitude. Shifty is tied up. He's not going to make it to the jetway. The Monster Man will one, no two, three steps above that no two-point line and over the jump to, and now oh. he faces and hits oh. the pile. Boy, he really made that move count. Normally, you don't see the monster man take that wall because of his weight. He just doesn't get enough speed to score the big points. But this time, he scored two points on the wall, two points on the jump, and then he came right around, and he got three points by passing the opposing players. Good move. The enforcer is stinging from that collision. He'll come to the infield for a 45-second cycle break. And the he helmets are passed to different jetters. It will be Mr. Mean, Harold Jackson for the Violators, and Sulky Todd Stern of Bridgeport, Connecticut for Bad Attitude. Around they go, building up speed for the jetway. Mr. Mean gets a pretty good oh, crank. Oh. Meanwhile, Todd Stern's in big trouble. Mr. Mean above the two and above nice the six-point line for three steps, so he gets the full six. Oh, Andy passes that 12-foot line on the jet jump, gets another six. Really right. Nearly decapitates. Up. Dr. Fu passes. Well, he's trying to pass Charlie oh. Saunders and now does for still more points. Huh. And the Violators are going to widen their lead. Mr. Mean, well, perhaps knowing that, looks like he's now going to turn it into a barroom roll. So what else is new? The fate is in your hands. Should Ralphie and the Twins return to the 
T-Birds for good. Cast your vote now. Dial 1-900-226-9000. 1-900-226-9000. You must have a touch-tone phone, and if you live in Alaska or Canada, you cannot vote. Sorry about that. It's $1 per call. $1 per call, 1-900-226-9000. Once again, the question is, should Ralphie Valadares and the T-Bird Twins be allowed to return to the T-Birds for good? Of course, a yes vote will mean that not only will they be on the team permanently, but Ralphie will also go into the Hall of Fame. If you vote no, that means Ms. Georgia Haas will win and Ralphie will not go into the Hall of Fame and who knows what will happen with the T-Bird Twins. The Monster Man, the only jetter in the jetway. Well, here we go again. Same lane, same bowling ball, same oh. outcome, a strike. Boy, he got his brother that time. And the Monster seems to be on a rampage. Yep, down goes Shifty, and he's looking for more. Bam! Oh! And has found the enforcer. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 99 to 86. Here goes again. And the Jackson 2 are at it again. This is getting real old. That's Mr. Me. And his brother Bernie had been kind of docile most of the night. I agree. Let's get some skating in here. Now he fights back a bit. Mr. Me, 16-year veteran of this sport. And you know, we've talked about 16 and 10-year veterans. A lot of the people around the country have not seen this sport in a long time. It sustained itself through the 70s and 80s in certain pockets of the country, but it has always been around. Back, back in 1972, oh, nice this sport played to 52,000 oh, in Chicago. Point. The killer, Greg Robertson, over the left side of the jump. Oh, oh and he can't oh, make the boy. turn, and he oh. drops his entire bench. He blew the six points coming off that big jump. He got an atomic whip, which perhaps gave him too much speed to the wall. And yep. when you come off that jump, David, you've got to make a sharp turn, and he couldn't handle it, and here's another look. Well, it's all about navigation when you come around that wall because of those G-forces, but he was totally uncontrollable and crashed right into his own team. And down go the ladies, innocent infield victims. So bodies flying everywhere in this fourth period. We've had the Monster Man do a couple of bowling ball routines, and then the killer clears out the ladies. Don't touch me. The killer, by the way, is down where he fell. Yeah, he's hurt. That's the skull. You okay? Giving him comfort. No skull. Comfort. No skull. And oh, by the way, it's a 20-point lead for the violators, despite that calamity. The killer's going to stay in. And by that, I mean in the infield, not on the track. Sweet Stephanie being preened by sidecar. The hair must be in place, very important. The enforcer, Tony Trujillo, is gonna jet for the violators, and Dr. Fu is gonna be first man up, an easy two for him. Oh, uh, and a difficult zero for the enforcer. Two points also on the jump for Dr. Fu, coming up on Mr. Mean. Can he get around him and score a point? Leg blocking as Mr. Mean chases Dr. Fu off there. the track. Nice rear blocking. Time still left in the cycle, so he'll come back for more. Oh. And does he ever get it? There is the whistle that stops that cycle. Chuck, I couldn't believe what I heard tonight on the radio. From the Roller Game soundtrack, I heard Kick Butt, the Violator theme song. And then, oh, I'll tell you, these guys have been receiving way too much press lately. I picked up my Roller Game magazine, and there they were, several pages of nothing but these Violators. I don't know why they waste paper on these guys. This will be the final cycle of the game. Violators with the commanding lead. Their jetter will be the enforcer, Tony Trujillo. First up, though, will be Monster Man of Bad Attitude. Above the two-point line for the necessary three steps. Meanwhile, no jetter at all up the jetway for the Violators. Monster sweeps by the pile, so he gets a three-point effort there. Now he's dueling with his very brother. 19 seconds left in the period, and look at the Jacksons go. This one's gonna turn into something. I can feel it! Oh! Oh! Did you see that? He went over the wall of death! 
This to mean overboard, just tapped off course by his brother and gathering himself up. Uh-oh, here he comes, and he is mad. The game is over. The Violators have defeated Bad Attitude, 111 to 98. I doubt that this is a time to turn your sets. Mr. Mean has Mean in his eyes. Get ready for the Bruise Brothers. Oh, my, and they decide they're going to meet again at the Old Swamp. It is a water hazard, as is. But, of course, during sudden death overtime situations, there are four alligators right there in that pit. Well, we may have a couple of alligators in it right now of the two-legged variety. Uh-oh. Oh, he broke the rail! Can you believe it? He broke the rail! On his back, the monster man, but his much lighter younger brother is having a bit of a struggle. Oh, he throws Mr. Meter to the how humiliating! Unbelievable! The Monster Man once again sends his brother to the showers early! <laughs> well, it might have been a personal defeat for Mr. Mean, but his team wins. Coming up, <laughs> the post-game party with Young MC. We'll be back. Kick Bud. Roller Games, brought to you by Levi's non-zip, ever-hip, button-fly, 501 jeans. To Shelly Jamison we go to kick off the war post-game party. Here is Young MC and Buster Moon. The damn for all the fellas Try to do what those ladies tell us Get shot down cause you're overzealous Play hard to get females to get jealous Okay smarty, go to a party Girls are dancing and clad and showing body A chick walks by you wish she could sex you But they're standing on the wall like you was point Dexter Next day's function, high class luncheon Food is served and you're stone cold munching Used to come small and people start to dance But you ate so much you nearly split your pants A girl starts walking, guys start gawking Sit down next to you and start stalking Says she wanna dance cause she likes the groove so come on, fast so we just bust the moon. You're wishing someone could cure your lonely condition. Looking for love in all the wrong places. No fine girls, just ugly faces. From frustration, first inclination is to become a monk and leave the situation. But every dark tunnel has a light of hope. So don't hang yourself with a celibate rope. New movies showing, so you're going. Quick, your last up about the five you're blowing. Theater gets dark as you start the show. Then you spot a fine woman sitting in your row. She's dressed in yellow. She says hello. Cause sit next to me, you fine fellow. You run over there without a second to lose. And what comes back? Hey, bust the moon. That a brother with money could be her man. So the beats are strolling, real high rolling. Everything you have is yours and I've stolen. A girl runs up with something to prove. So don't just stand there and bust the move. Pushing up daisies, just be smart and just be smooth, and 
use your head when you bust the move. And your best friend Harry has a brother Larry. In five days from now, he's gonna marry. Hoping you can make it there if you can. Cause in the ceremony, you'll be the best man. You say Nito, check your lapido, and roll to the church in your new tuxedo. The bride walks down to start the wedding, and there's one more girl you won't be getting. So you start thinking, then you start flicking. A bride may look and think that you're wicked. She thinks you're kinda cute, so she winks back. Now you're feeling really fun, cause the girl is stacked. Three steps is jumping, face is pumping. Look at the girl and your heart starts thumping. Says you wanna dance to a different groove. Now you know what to do, Jay, pop the move. Let me hear you say ho! Say ho, ho! Say bust the move! Say bust the move! We got Michael Gardner, Tony G, Nate, Tev, MCO. My name's the Young MC, y'all just busting the move and we are out of here! That is Young MC on the Super Roller Dome stage and we will be back. The Violators have defeated Bad Attitude, 111 to 98. And now down on the infield is David Sams. David? There's only 48 hours remaining. The big question remains, should the T-Bird Twins return to the T-Birds for good? And will Ralphie make it into the Hall of Fame? To vote yes, you want to dial this number right on the bottom of your screen. And to vote no for these two, you dial the no number. What do you think the chances are that America will agree with you, Georgia? First of all, Buster, my name is Ms. Georgia Haas to you. Understand that? Well, I think that's irrelevant to my question. I don't care what's irrelevant to your question, but the question is, there is no problem because the people out there, they know what is right and wrong, and we are right. We are right. No question. You are going to vote for us because we are the people that are right on this one, not the Thunder Chickens. Chickens, yes, right. I, 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 uh, come on, Skull. That was a dirty hey, blow. Wait, 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 Dave, I'm sorry. I've been listening to this interview, and as far as I'm concerned, you are not right. You are not right. The people are right. And all I can say is that let your conscience be your guide and vote yes. If you think you're there, right, you have it. Vote yes if you want this man to go into the Hall of Fame and the T Bird Twins to remain on the T Birds. Vote no if you're for these two. Back to you, Chuck. Oh, no as David tries to duck the lightning of all that finger pointing. Well, the cheerleaders of the Violators are celebrating because their team has dropped bad attitude. Next week, Lita Ford will be with us. We hope you will, too. The following companies have paid a fee for promotional consideration. Gatano invites your family to get to know the Gatano family of products. Gatano Body Wear, the spirit of family. Stetson Cologne, the great masculine scent that's easy to wear and hard for a woman to resist. Stetson Fits. It's Electronic Battleship, where you program an all-out attack to sink your enemy's fleet. You sank my battleship. Battleship and Electronic Battleship from Milton Bradley. Remember to cast your vote, the destiny, the livelihood, the future of Ralphie and the Twins is in your hands. Please vote now. Remember, this is America. That's what made our country great. So pick up the phone and vote now for Ralphie and the Twins or Ms. Georgia Haas. Cast your vote now. Otherwise, their future could be devastated.